This is Ash News TV. I'm joined now by Dr. Laura Michaels, who is the incoming editor-in-chief for The Hematologist. Dr. Michaels, thank you so much for joining my us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Tell us a little bit about uh, the upcoming year. What kind of vision do you have for The Hematologist? So, The Hematologist, as you know, is a publication from Ash. It has a very loyal following, and one of the reasons is because of its sort of rigorous attention to content, its tone, and the ability of it to purvey to the to the readership a really broad understanding of what's happening on a um, regularly updated basis in both classical and malignant hematology. So my goal when I come in for editor is not to disrupt that but hopefully to build on it. I follow Jason Gottlieb who's done an incredible job at making the keeping the tone and the content but also making it more accessible. He's um, put together podcasts, we have a new hematology app, a hematologist app that's coming up. So it's going to be the kind of thing you can read anytime, anywhere, and you can link to the podcast. He's done a great job also with coming up with some novel features, and those are the kind of things I'd like to keep going and also maybe uh, morph into additional features that I'm interested in. One of them was something called a um, no data zone, where we look at real common practices in our in any number of specialties where there's really no data to guide us and explore those those questions and maybe use those features as an opportunity to come up with collaborative clinical trials where we can actually move people together and find data for questions where there isn't one right now. So is part of this also perhaps looking at uh, other ways to disseminate the information? I understand you're interested in digital multimedia. Well, absolutely. So I, I, I listen to podcasts a lot. Um, I think that multimedia is only growing. We've started video podcasting as well. I love to. I would love to see synergy between the different publications that Ash does so that maybe we could um, have some bounce back if there's a how I treat article in blood. Is there some way we could... Uh, use podcasting or the the video casting through our group to draw readership there and also understand um, uh, parallel clinical trials that might be feeding into this, etc. I'd like that kind of crosstalk as much as possible. Give us some thoughts if you would. Uh, you come from a, a journalism background. How is that going to play in, in what readers uh, and viewers will be able to see from the hematologist? I hope that being my previous career can give me an idea of always being able to look on what the reader's seeing and really pose, uh, pr uh, provide a product that is respectful and invigorating to the reader and that um, it really helps, uh, helps them see the bigger picture of what they do and I think that's a good way to keep people, as I say, engaged not only in their job but also in the society, the Ash Society and then the bigger society. Dr. Michaels, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. Us. Thank you so much. I'm Ed Hyland, and this is Ash News TV.